As Tropical Storm Barry closed in on the state of Louisiana this evening, residents and local officials prepared for its arrival overnight as a hurricane-level storm. As John Yang tells us, the greatest risk may not be the winds, but intense rain and a likelihood of significant flooding. Waves, wind, and rain began hitting New Orleans and Louisiana's Gulf Coast today as Barry neared hurricane strength. Forecasters warned the storm could linger over the state through Sunday and drop up to 20 inches of rain, triggering serious flooding. The Mississippi River is already unusually high from a wet spring. Earlier this week, New Orleans' French Quarter flooded after heavy rain. Sandbags were being filled and distributed. Flooding could hit further north, including Baton Rouge. Rachel Young said her family is not taking any chances. They're already preparing, like boarding up windows, got a bunch of sand. Typically, um, it doesn't flood in that area, but you never know. So we're taking every precaution necessary. Governor John Bell Edwards warned of the risks. Nobody should take this storm uh, lightly just because it's supposed to be a a category one when it makes landfall. You just go back to 2016. We didn't have all of the uh, advanced warning that we've had today, and we had 56 out of 64 parishes declared a major federal disaster because of those floods. There were some evacuations in low-lying areas, but New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell told residents to shelter in place. Stay dry as best as possible. Again, high and heavy rain falls. This is what we are preparing for. Uh, make sure that you again just stay put. In the city's lower ninth ward, devastated in 2005 by Hurricane Katrina and the collapse of levees, many residents are sticking it out. But they are watching the levees and potential storm surge. It's an eerie feeling. You don't ever get comfortable until you know it's over. We're not going to evacuate. Um, we're just going to ride it out. We've kind of taken the attitude that this is what we signed up for. We live in New Orleans. This is what happens. The margin of safety could be thin. In New Orleans, the Mississippi is expected to crest tomorrow at about 19 feet. The city's levees range from about 20 to 25 feet. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm John Yang. State officials said they were still confident today that floodwaters would not overtop the levees. To explore the concerns over rain, storm surge, and how long this storm might last, I'm joined by Ken Graham. He's director of the National Hurricane Center. Ken Graham, welcome back to the news hour. So please give us your the latest information you have on the track of this storm. Yeah, the latest information that we have is just this very large storm, somewhat disorganized, but at the same time strengthening through the afternoon. So 65 mile an hour winds and just an expansive system covering most of the Gulf of Mexico. So the latest information, very similar track that we've been talking about for the, for the last few days, slow movement. So just a lot of tropical storm force winds well outside the cone and a big rain event. Whether it becomes a hurricane before landfall or a tropical storm, that difference is just a mile an hour. Got to prepare for all the rainfall and storms. You mentioned several times the, the slowness of it. Why does that add to your worry so much? You know, you know, slow storm is our, our nemesis. Slow and large storms are just, they, they compound the issues. The slower the storm, the more chance there is to dump a lot of that rainfall. The slower the storm, there's more time for the winds to push storm surge into to every bayou and in, into rivers and bays. So those slow storms, and we've seen this in the past with these slow storms, they, they just cause so many more problems because they're just here longer. So even the winds saturate the soil, put the winds on top of that. There's more trees down, more power lines down. You, you get more power outages in a situation like this as well. And we know New Orleans uh, was already hit with a lot of rain in the middle of this week. How much does that compound uh, the concern? Yeah, you know, when you pre-saturate some of the soil, it, it really doesn't help things at all because, you I mean, look at this. Uh, we, don't, we don't even issue uh, a risk higher than this. I mean, this is a high risk of flash flooding, and in the areas in red, that's a moderate risk. So, yeah, you saturate some of those soils, put more rain on that, it just compounds the issue. That's why we have this, just, just this area here that, you know, we don't issue that very often. So a high risk means there's just a really good chance, more than a 50% chance, anybody in that area could see flash flooding with this system. Ken Graham, what are you and, and your colleagues telling uh, people who live in that area right now? 
We are telling them that the, the tropical storm force winds are already making their way on, on land. It, you know, it's time to prepare yourselves and, and that time is running out. And we're really letting people know the fact that just be careful. The local officials tell you not to be around these low areas where the storm surge is and, and the rain in these low areas in the bayous. You, you got to get out. If you're told to get out, you have to get out. The water's already getting there. We've already seen some tide gauges come up. And these, this is the forecast for the storm surge. I mean, three to five feet in Lake Pontchartrain and along the Louisiana coast up to six foot of storm surge. So it's a dangerous situation. Situation. And, and it's interesting because 83% of the fatalities in the last three years, um, really tropical systems, has been from the inland rain, half of those in automobiles. So we're telling people just when the rain's there, the flooding's there, please stay off the roads. People, of course, remember Katrina and the terrible devastation and loss of life. How do you compare something like this to that? Usually the message that we tell people is we actually tell them never to compare storms. It, it, it's interesting because people's risk perception is based on their basically a previous experience when it comes to storms. But every one of them is so different. I always talk about little wiggles matter. I mean, just 20, 30 miles in either direction could spell, you know, a couple feet of storm surge versus, you know, six or seven feet. So I tell people, be careful comparing storms. They're all different. We spend so much time here at the Hurricane Center talking about the hazards and the impacts. That's what we want people to listen to. Listen to the forecast for the rain and the storm surge. That indeed is what's hurting people and killing them historically. So let's have those conversations. And just finally, quickly, uh, how many days, how long do you think we're going to be talking about this storm? You know, we got uh, through the weekend. It's interesting with this slow movement. So over the next 24 hours or so, making landfall. But with time, I mean, if you look at this, we're Monday morning, Monday afternoon, we're still going to be a, a tropical depression into Arkansas. So that means heavy rain, not just along the coast, but well inland, Mississippi, Tennessee, even stretching up into Missouri with time. I mean, we're going to be talking about that into early next week. So this is a, a not just a coastal event. We got to make sure even people inland are ready for it over the weekend and, and even next week. Thank you so much uh, for all this information. So helpful. Ken Graham, director of the National Hurricane Center. We appreciate it. Absolutely.